Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan with another Every Female Marvel Legends of 2022 video. We did it every year for the last two years. Let's do it again. Who was the best? There were 32 female Marvel Legends for 2022. Let's check it out. So let's first start off talking about Marvel Studios Legacy Collection, which was the first time they've started doing this. And they started off with Black Panther, kind of re-releasing, updating some figures. They did four figures here in this particular way, plus two that were exclusives, but two of them were females. We had our Shuri figure here with the gauntlets on. Right back of that package, you do see it had plastic on it. They've now since gone plastic free. But yeah, this is definitely different than the original Shuri that we had. And then we also have Nakia. She's got her little rings for her weapons. Lots of great sculpt. I love this sculpt whenever we had it for the Dora Milaje the first time. great face sculpt there those two looking really good all right then we have the black panther we're kind of forever wave itself two females in that wave with okaye okoye and akia this is the atuma build a figure so there is your okoye Got the bald head, the tattooing or whatever on the head, spear. Again, plastic free now. Right back of that package. See the build figure piece she comes with. Then you have your Nakia, which is, she's got her underwater outfit on here, which is pretty awesome. Great sculpt on that one. Love the colors. Two different head sculpts. Yeah, she got her rings as her weapons there. Comes with the torso for Atuma. There's that full wave. Then we had a little standalone figure here of a Black Panther female. Wakanda Forever. She has extra hands fisted and open. Not sure why this one came out all by itself, but it sure did. Great sculpt. And then we also had an Ironheart that came out, kind of this deluxe wider package here. Riri Williams. With and without the helmet on. All those accessories. Blast effects out of the feet. All those accessories, like I said, she comes with. Blast effects will come out of the rockets, too. Then, from the core build a figure wave from Thor Love and Thunder, we had several females with Mighty Thor, Jane Foster, and King Valkyrie. Write up for King Valkyrie in different languages. Comes with her sword, build figure pieces, the cape, great hair sculpt. Tessa Thompson. Then we have our Jane Foster, Mighty Thor, Natalie Portman. Got a little write up there. It was a great movie. I loved it. With and without the helmet on. Besides all those packages. So yeah, 
Korg build a figure wave. And then how about this? A Disney exclusive. This is actually at Disney Parks. Five pack with the Guardians of the Galaxy re released. You got Gamora. Of course, the rest of the Guardians as well. There's the back of that package. MCU versions of all these guys. They are repainted a little bit different. There's the side and the bottom and top of the package. Inside of the package, nice artwork. And there's the front and back of that Gamora figure with her swords. Next in the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness Rencher Build a Figure Wave. We got American Chavez. She comes with the torso, extra hands for herself, fisted and open. Got her American flag jacket on there. Next, we had a little tease here for Jeremy Renner and Haley Steinfeld's Hawkeyes. So there is the Haley Steinfeld Hawkeye, Kate Bishop. Beat up version of Hawkeye. Infinity Ultron build a figure wave. Is that Ultron? We'd only seen the Moon Knights up to that point as well. Also in that same wave, we have the Sharon Carter, Disney Plus, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Green jacket over top of the blue jacket. Giant knife and a club. Comes with the head and the staff of the Infinity Ultron. And then also in the Infinity Ultron wave, we have the Miss Marvel from the Disney Plus show, Miss Marvel. She comes with the torso. Nice shots of her in her actual costume. And then also in the Infinity Ultron wave, we've got She-Hulk from her show. Disney Plus. So there's the Kate Bishop in package, front and back. Miss Marvel in package, front and back. Sharon Carter, front and back. And then She Hulk, front and back of the package. There's the full wave and all their little figure pieces and accessories. Lots of women in that wave. Sides of those packages. So the next female we have is from the What If Wave, Disney Plus, and it is the zombie version of Scarlet Witch. She was like the villain from this Marvel zombie show. Got the effects pieces, that massive hair, scarred up face. Probably one of the best figures of the year. There's the back showing off that tattered jacket. Next to Zombie Hunter Spider Man there. Awesome looking figure. And this is plastic repackaging here. Front and back of the package comes with part of the Kanshu build a figure, one of the legs there. Check out that hair. There's the full wave. She is the only female in the wave for Kanshu build a figure. So, yeah, Disney Plus Wave 4. Cool, Mr. Stevie does these little panels right here on uh, Instagram. There's that full wave. And the sides of those package. Next, from the Bonebreaker X Men Build a Figure Wave, we do have Siren. 
So Banshee's daughter. She does not have an open mouth sculpt, which is disappointing. There's that whole way, but there was a package with plastic on it, so that was awesome. Front back that package, and you see on the back she has a screaming face. No screaming head sculpt. Oh well. Pretty cool figure though. Helps out our X-Force wave. All their accessories and build figure pieces for each figure. Next in the controller build a figure way, we have two females with Madam Hydra. Much improved at the last one we had. Of course, this one is Viper. Got the leg there, two handguns and extra hands, fisted and pistol gripping. Got the green lipstick, nice green hair. And we also have the Maria Hill slash Quake. So I love that you're getting two different options here. Got the extra hands for Quake. Extra head sculpts there. Looking really good. Either way they go. Comes with the other arm for controller builder figure wave. Front back of that package. Got Quake on the back. that full wave. Again, these packages were not plastic free, so that was awesome. So vintage wise, Hasbro PulseCon 2021 revealed this. It was the Scarlet Witch from the West Coast Avengers. Same sculpt as the one we got in a three pack with Magneto and Quicksilver, just this one is brighter. I'm sorry, the other one was more shiny. This is more a uh, matte finish on her. Got all those effect pieces. And we also had a Lady Loki, or the Trickster they called her, I think. This one had been in the six pack that was a Toys R Us exclusive for the um, A Force. Fisted and open hands. And we have the Mary Jane here, a spinneret. And the two pack with Spidey. Plastic free packaging. Renew your vows. Love both head sculpts for her. Extra hands as well. I wish they'd have threw their daughter in here too. This is one of the best two packs of the year, one of the best spotties they've done. And then they had a two pack with Doc Ock and Silk. So here's Silk with her two different head sculpts here. Doc Ock. Again, with these tentacles not being bendy wire, it's disappointing. Two different head sculpts for Doc Ock, too. Extra hands for Silk. And this was an Amazon exclusive, plastic free. We had a three pack from Spider Man and his amazing friends giving us Firestar and Lady, Miss Lady there, the dog. Iceman looking with some cell shading there, and then Spidey. Back of the package, again plastic free. She has two different head sculpts this time. Whereas last time when she was a fan channel exclusive, we only got one. Flame effects there on her arms. And we had a three pack from Amazon for the Venom symbiotes here, Life Foundation. Extra hands, fisted and open. But here is Agony along with Riot and Venom in this one. Finishing up that Life Foundation finally. And there was the artwork for that box. That was pretty cool. And we have another three pack here with Electra, Daredevil, and Bullseye. Electra with some awesome head sculpts in this particular case with her white costume. Plastic free again. But check out that massive hair sculpt she's got here. 
and the regular one as well. Both of them are great looking. But again, plastic free, so they just show you pictures of the figure. And you just hope it comes in the box. There it is with the big hair. Katanas in size. A really cool looking Electra. And then in the Galactus HasLab box here, we do have a female in there. With Nova, one of the heralds of Galactus. There she is, you can see her base, the extra hands. Kind of translucent look to her hair and the base. Got the gold paint, flat gold paint there. And there she is in her base. Or flight stand, whatever you want to call it, which plugs right in the Galactus hand really nice. Alright, so next thing, let's talk about X Men the Animated Series and all these cell shaded. First thing we saw was this rendering of Jubilee. And we got the real one. She so got the extra head sculpt with the glasses, effect pieces, but you see the cell shading for these animated series. Wolverine was also announced by the same time. These came in these little VHS looking boxes, so again, plastic free. Had Storm also revealed this year with the cell shading. Extra hands there with lightning and without. VHS tape, of course. All angles there. Got the little soft plastic cape there. We had the Jean Grey. A little sad face. So she did come with two head sculpts and extra hands. Then we had Mystique, which this was one that kind of disappointed me. She came with a baby nightcrawler. See the package here, all angles. But what disappointed me about it? Was the fact that the rendering on the package, which again is plastic free, looked nothing like the actual figure. Look at the detail in the belt. Well, I'll give it a detail here in a second. So here's the face sculpt. To me, look nothing alike. They're close, but not, not exact. Look at the elbows, nothing alike. The belt, the one on the right is the cardboard. The one on the left is the actual figure, so where's all that paint shading in the eyes of the skull and the nose? The knees, nothing alike. So yeah, there's all the cell shaded X-Men anime series figures we got this year. All their packages from the back, from the sides, from the back sides. Yeah, you can stack these up on your shelf, pretty cool looking. And then we had a Walgreens exclusive last one ever with Moonstone here from the Thunderbolts. She's from all angles, got a Thunderbolt symbol on her back. Extra hands fisted and open. Package here, front and back. And again, this is the very last Walgreens exclusive they're ever going to do. We got our Mojo World box set here. Pretty much like an SDCC for 2022 with Mojo, Dazzler, Long Shot, and this tiny little Wolverine. Pretty cool. But yeah, we got Dazzler here. And Mojo. But Dazzler's our female. Right there she is with her effect pieces with nice colors. Long hair. Got the Outback look to her. Nice paint over the eyes, bandana around the head with the long hair. There's the box that it comes in. So, yep, there are all the females Marvel Legends did in 2022. Not too bad. Let me know what you guys think was the best. I'm going to show you what I think is the best, my top 10. There's all our packages.
So for my top 10, my number 10 is the Nakia from the Wakanda Forever. I like that color scheme, the extra helmet they gave her, and the sculpt they did on that body. Number nine, She-Hulk from the She-Hulk Disney Plus show. Number eight, I love the fact we've got two different versions and you can already build the females like crazy for the shield if you wanted to with the Quake and Maria heel. Number seven was the Mystique, even though she was disappointing not matching the package. She was the coolest, in my opinion, of all of the cell shaded X-Men coming with Nightcrawler. Number six with Silk. This is our third Silk figure I think we've gotten. So that's crazy already. Number five, the Spinneret or Mary Jane in the Renew Your Vows box set. Number four, from the HasLab Galactus box set, you got your Frankie Ray Nova. Number three, I loved the Kate Bishop Hawkeye here. Number two, the Electra from the Daredevil box set. Great head sculpts there. I love this box set. And my number one favorite of the year, and again, this is my opinion, is the Scarlet Witch What If zombie version here. I love that hair sculpt and the fact that we're getting zombies for X-Men or for Marvel Legends. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you ever new. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.